Just what's up, ladies and gentlemen. This is Warzone Jones coming right back at you with a UFC pay-per-view review. UFC 189 it was a pretty damn good show. The two main events was, of course, Chad Money Mendez stepping in for Jose Aldo, of course, versus none other than Conor McGregor. That was one of the main events. The other main event was None other than Ruthless Rory Lawler, the welterweight champion versus Rory McDonald. And this was a title fight for the welterweight title. So both of these matches, these two big main events were very important because, uh, excuse me, very important because it was big time championship title fights. So we're gonna start off with the first main event that they had showed was the welterweight championship title fight. And I was really excited for this championship title fight. It was a fight that I really wanted to see. You know, Rory McDonald and of course Robbie Lawler are two of the absolute very best in the Walsway division going today. Both these guys got talent. Both these guys came a long way. This fight did deliver. It got really, really good, especially in the third round. You know, at first, you know, like the first round, like both guys wasn't really. No, they weren't swinging for the fences, of course. No, they wasn't really swinging for the fences, but you know, it was an okay round. But at first, no, I was thinking, I was like, oh, I'm hoping that these guys are gonna you know, amp it up in the later rounds. And that's exactly what they did. They did amp it up in the later rounds, uh, especially in the third round. You know, Roy McDonald got punched in the, I believe, like under his eye or around, 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 somewhere around his eye, and he was bleeding very, very badly. So, you know, uh, Robert Law, he hits hard, man. Robert Law has, you know, hard hands. So when he hits you, and if he lands a punch like that, he can do damage to your face. And he did a whole a lot of damage to Roy McDonald. But at the same time, guess what? Roy McDonald, did damage to Robbie Lawler, especially in the third round where he was landing, where he landed a head kick. And in the fourth round, you know, he, he landed a hell a bunch of head kicks. I believe it was the fourth round, but yeah, Robbie, Robbie Lawler got kicked in the head a couple of times. You know, he was blocking a couple of them, but you know, it didn't matter because even though he was blocking a couple of them, like his, his foot would come and hit his hand, but he would block him, but he's really only blocking like half of his power. And let's be honest here, you know, Robbie Lawler, um, not Robbie Lawler, Roy McDonald is a pretty good kicker, and he, he just kept landing it. Not necessarily clean, but enough to stun Robbie Lawler. So Robbie Lawler was looking like he was going to get knocked out a couple of times. At one point, I'm thinking, oh man, Robbie Lawler is going to lose. And I wanted Robbie Lawler to win because I'm just a, I'm just a little bit bigger of a fan of Robbie Lawler than I am of Rory McDonald. Not that much, but I'm probably more of a fan of Robbie Lawler than I am Rory McDonald. But towards the last round, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, well, somebody's going to get knocked out. And that's exactly what happened and it was Rory McDonald. Rory McDonald got punched in, I believe it was the nose. He did get punched in the head at least, but he got punched in the nose and when he fell down, no, I'm sitting there wondering, okay, well, what happened? It, it, it happened kind of quickly. So he just like falls down and he didn't get back up, unfortunately. Um, I guess, you no, know, that was just too much damage there. Cause like I said earlier in the fight, Robbie Lawler managed to land a really good clean punch and he busted uh, Roy McDonald open really, really badly. So he had so much blood on his face. It looked like he basically dipped his hand in blood and just wiped his face with it. That's how much blood Robbie Lawler, uh, excuse me, not Robbie Lawler, Roy McDonald had on his face. But still, the weight champion, Robbie Lawler, still the weight champ. So we'll see what Robbie Lawler goes on from here. Next was the next main event. Of course, it was for the interim title. Not the actual title, but the interim title. Chad Mendez versus Conor McGregor. And guess what? We get another KO victory. And it is by Conor McGregor. Now, I'm going to say yes to this. Not because I hate Chad Mendez. Not because I'm just this big mark for Conor McGregor, but because I want to see the fight between Conor McGregor and Josie Aldo. Like, I really wanted to see that fight. We supposed to get at this pay-per-view, but we all know Josie Aldo got hurt, 
So we didn't get that fight. So we got this fight. Chad Mendez versus Conor McGregor. But Conor McGregor does win. I was hoping he win. I'm pretty sure the UFC wanted him to win. Because let's be honest here. That's a big fight between Jose Aldo and Conor McGregor. With all that build up. With all that hype. You know, all that money that they put into the pay-per-view. They want that money back. Which is understandable. Let's be honest here. You, you know, you, you run a business. You want to make money. So they want to make that money back. So I am glad that Conor McGregor did win. Because if Conor McGregor would have lost, he probably would have sort of looked overrated. Like some people probably would say, okay, well, this guy's a little overrated. Some people probably would have said that. But, you know, Conor McGregor did win. He wins by KO. So Conor McGregor looks good. He is walking around with a title. And although it's an interim title, it's still a title. So he can go... You know, do his thing and say, well, hey, look, I'm the real champ. The other champ, he didn't really fight. Whatever, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter to me. You know, even though it's not the actual title, um, it's still a big win for Conor McGregor. So I am glad that Conor McGregor won. Like I said, I want to see that fight between Jose Aldo and Conor McGregor. We got to see it. Like, I just want to see. So that is my review of... UFC 189, I'm just going to basically, like I said, no review the big main event fights. That is all really only fights that I wanted to see. So, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel for MMA videos and other video topics that I do on this channel. I'm out. Deuce.